There's a guy who was one of the parents that was a conspiracy theorist until this happened. You know, he was a conspiracy theorist. He believed all that stuff. And then his son was killed. And then they started calling him a fraud and saying he was an actor and saying it never happened and that he's a paid shill. And, you know, and there's, there's a big article about this this guy. I mean, you see this guy talk and it's heartbreaking. You know, you you read his words. It's heartbreaking. You can't so, imagine your son was murdered in one of the biggest school massacres ever, if not the biggest, right? And th here's people running around emailing you and t sending you tweets yeah. and Facebook messages that you're a fraud and that you you know you work for the globalists and this is all just a plot to take our guns away it's like holy that's shit, what they say man. these things are that's the people who think the all these sh school shootings that they're all set up to, to so they can take our guns away they think that about everything they thought that about the country music festival shooting in, in Vegas, Spy Vegas because they felt like hey here's a way to get those people on our side because oh. those are all the Second Amendment people is the country music people what better people mm -hmm. th to get to turn against the Second Amendment than a bunch of people that are I mean I guarantee you if you had like a red light that went off every time like on the top of someone's head if they were a, 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 a National Rifles Agency if they were NRA uh, uh, member in that audience. I bet there'd be a lot of fucking lights. I bet a lot of those people are NRA people. A lot of people are gun owners. I bet it's just gun owners. How many people are gun owners? I bet fucking half, at least half the audience. Probably one of the strongest demographics you could find. Country music, gun owners. That's like, that's a giant connection.